Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 20th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to check out some image properties in CSS. So as you can see I have a, a document opened in my text editor notepad++ and it's called uh, image.html and in this document within the style section in the head section I have uh, two style rules applied to h1 and h2 level headings respectively so I've changed the font size for uh, all h1 level headings to 26 points I've changed the font size for uh, h2 level headings to 18 points and then uh, inside the body section we really don't have much you know we just have uh, an h1 level heading that reads top four tennis players in the world and then we've got uh, names of uh, Novak Djokovic, Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal and Andy Murray in uh, h2 level headings and uh, of course we have their images so uh, at the time of uh, recording of this tutorial, these guys are not the top four ranked tennis players in the world. Uh, you know, Novak, Roger and uh, Andy Murray make it to top four, but uh, Rafa unfortunately is uh, ranked eighth, if I'm not wrong. Uh, he's had some injuries, but anyway, these are uh, uh, no doubt the big four uh, in tennis. You know, that's what they are referred to as collectively. So, you know, the way this page is, if you would open it in Google Chrome this is how it would look so you have uh, your top heading and then you know you have four images and if you guys uh, uh, have noticed the width of each of the four images is the same uh, the height might be different so you know Rafael Nadal's image is obviously greater in height as compared to Andy Murray's uh, image or you know Roger's image uh, but the the width is indeed the same for all four images so the properties that we're going to check out are uh, border, height, width and opacity and these are the four, four most commonly used properties uh, you know with images in CSS. So we have inline style rules to check out each of the four properties and uh, you know let's apply a border to Novak's image and see how it works. So let's say you want a 5 pixels thick border so you'll first type 5 pixels and let's say you want it to be solid right and we are going to have a tutorial on uh, borders um, uh, you know a little bit later in the series uh, wherein I'll talk to you about uh, the different kinds of borders that you can have uh, around HTML elements through CSS um, but for this particular example we're going to use a solid border that's green in color so that's the third argument that you have to type and then of course you have to put a semicolon to terminate your style rule I go to my browser and refresh the page and there you go you see a uh, five pixels thick green solid border around Novak's image right and people mostly use black colored borders and uh, they use borders around images when they want the images to you know uh, somehow stand out of the page so that you know the images have a clear boundary or a definition and uh, are obviously separated from the text uh, the next property that we're going to check out is height and uh, we're going to change the height of Roger Federer's image to 550 pixels let's say of course you have to put a semicolon to terminate and uh, your browser is going to maintain the aspect ratio of the image so you know when you change the height it's not just the height that changes the width will also change and you know there is a way in which you can prevent that from happening right uh, but uh, this is actually quite nice because this prevents your image from uh, being distorted so you know in some ways it's good but uh, obviously you know if you only want to change one dimension then that's also possible the next property that we're going to check out is width and we're going to change uh, the width of Rafael Nadal's image to let's say 480 pixels and uh, I'll save the file and I'll go to my browser again and refresh it and uh, there you go you can see now that Rafael Nadal's uh, image is greater in width as compared to Andy Murray's image right earlier they were at the same level and now this image is uh, wider so that's what uh, you can do with the width property the last and final property that we're going to check out in this tutorial is opacity if suppose you want uh, uh, a fairly transparent image then you would put a value closer to zero for this particular property whereas if you want your image to be uh, not transparent at all just be the way it is and you would pass a value 1 right so default is 1 if you don't mention anything here it will uh, consider 1 as the value but if you want uh, you know like considerable transparency in, in your image then you would use a value like 0 0.3 or something and uh, I'll pass in that put a semicolon save the file when I refresh it in my browser 
there you go you can see that Andy Murray's image is now fairly transparent so these are the four uh, image properties that I wanted to talk about in this tutorial I hope you guys had fun watching this video and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'll see you in the next video till then take care